Hello everyone, I'm the Saxy Gamer, and today we're here for yet another episode of Civilization VI Beginner Basics, where today we'll be taking a look at the various ways to win a game of Civ VI, and generally how you can work towards achieving any of those victory types in a game. So the first victory type that we're going to take a look at today is the science victory and the goal of a science victory is to get your exoplanet expedition to another planet. So in order to do this what you have to do is first research a bunch of texts leading up to your spaceports and the various space parts. Then you have to construct each of the space parts and then finally launch your exoplanet expedition and wait for it to uh, reach another planet. So the way to work on this throughout the entire game is generally to focus on your science and production yields. So this will help you research the text that you need and also have enough production in order to build these space parts in a timely manner once you, uh, once you have the prerequisite technologies. This can be done by settling a lot of cities, building a lot of campus districts, building a lot of industrial zones, and also looking for good cities that you can get a lot of mines in to really bolster your production. Science Victory is a great one for beginners because it's not really countered by any of your opponents or anything of that sort. It's very straightforward. There's, there's, there's very clear things that you have to go for. So if you are new to the game, I would highly recommend trying out a Science Victory, perhaps even as your first game. Culture Victory is up next, and the goal of a Culture Victory is to attract a number of tourists from other civilizations. So the goal here is pretty much to make your culture dominant over the other cultures. So this is based on the amount of culture and tourism owned by both your civilization and other civilizations as well. So to work towards a culture victory throughout the game, what you have to do is focus on culture in order to get civics that will give you good policy cards for bolstering your tourism. Tourism itself is another yield that you really have to focus on because it is actually what attracts those tourists from other civilizations. And you also do need to focus on faith generation because faith generation will allow you to purchase naturalists and rock bands, which are great generators of tourism. Culture Victory is not a very good beginner-friendly one because there are a lot of comparatively complex mechanics compared to a lot of the other victory types, and if you're new to the game, it's not worth trying to understand what you actually have to do in order to win a Culture Victory, but if you are a little bit more experienced, then this can be a really fun one. This is personally one of my favorite victory types, but as I mentioned, a lot more complex, not great for beginners, but I will link some other things in the video description below that give you some additional information on what plays into effect in a Culture game. The next victory type we're going to look at is Religious Victory, and the goal of a Religious Victory is to convert other player cities to your religion such that their empire is following your religion as the majority religion. The first and most important thing that you should be focusing on when you are playing for a Religious Victory is obviously founding a religion, so this is something that you should do pretty much from square one in a game. I don't have the video out yet, but I will be putting out a Beginner Basics episode on how to found a religion, so be looking out for that and subscribe if you're looking to see that. The other thing that you need to do whenever you are playing a religious game is have plenty of faith per turn generation because this will allow you to buy missionaries and apostles to go spam those units to other people's cities to make sure that they are being converted to your religion. Religious victory is not particularly difficult. It's a very straightforward victory type, but it does have some slightly more uh, some slightly more complex mechanics than something like science victory. But I also don't think it's a particularly exciting victory type because you're basically doing the same thing for the entire game once you have founded your religion. So this one, if you're interested in it, you can go for it, but it's not you know a particularly exciting one in my opinion for beginners. A much better choice, however, might be a domination victory. So the goal of a domination victory is to take the capital city of all other players in the game. So you don't have to take all of the cities of other players, just their capitals. For a domination victory, there are two main things that you should be focusing on throughout the game, and that is producing military units and researching military technologies. So domination games have a lot of focus on getting power spikes. So a power spike is any time that you have a technology advantage over another player, or perhaps a unique unit advantage over another player. Utilizing those can allow you to very easily take out your nearest neighbors or anybody else that you think might be a target. And then from there, you can just kind of snowball your way to victory. So domination victory, I think, is a very fun one. I generally do tend to enjoy the combat in Civ 6, and I think a lot of other players do as well. So this one, I think, is very fun for beginners. And it's not particularly difficult. It is definitely a little bit more difficult than something like science victory. But I also think it's very fun, and it's, it's, it's exciting, especially as a new player, to see all the units and things. So I would consider going for a domination victory if you are a new player. 
Kind of opposite from a domination victory is the diplomatic victory, the goal of which is to gain enough diplomatic victory points to just kind of be declared the winner. So in order to do this, you can focus on the World Congress, which will have, uh, which will give you diplomatic victory points from voting on the, the winning resolutions. Also, later on in the game, you can just vote to give yourself diplomatic victory points. The other ways that you can get these vi dip diplomatic victory points are from certain wonders or also from participating in emergencies such as natural disaster emergencies in which you can give players gold and if you are the the largest supporter of that player you will win a diplomatic victory point so throughout the game you should focus on your economy to make sure you have plenty of gold to participate in these emergencies and you should also focus on diplomacy with other players and city states because this will generate you diplomatic favor which can be used to vote in the world congress this one as well is fairly straightforward and relatively easy for new players. There's, It's kind of hard to mess up a diplomatic victory game. This one as well though, it's not particularly exciting, but just the fact that it's so hard to mess up I think is also very good for new players because you can do a lot of things throughout most of the game and still kind of have that diplomatic backbone going for you. The last victory type, and the one that pretty much no one ever plays, is score victory. So the goal of score victory is to have the most points after a set number of turns. You get points from things such as researching technologies and settling cities. You can play score victory, but as I mentioned, basically nobody plays score victory just because it's it's a very kind of underwhelming one that just after so long, the game just ends and that's that's it. You know, it's, there's not really any necessarily overarching goal of a score victory it's just kind of have the biggest empire have the most text just generally anything like that so if you're very very you know uncomfortable with any of the other victory types then you could play a score victory but as i mentioned this one it's really not exciting and i think it it doesn't do you much good in terms of actually learning to play the game so score victory it exists but pretty much nobody ever uses it so thank you everyone for watching, I have been the Saxy Gamer. if you enjoyed the video feel free to like, if not feel free to dislike, and if you're looking for some more Civilization 6 content feel free to subscribe, thank you for watching, and goodbye.